We do want to turn now to Kim Kardashian West publicly addressing her husband, Kanye West's mental health for the first time in a powerful Instagram post. She asked for compassion and empathy after West's recent alarming behavior. TJ Holmes is joining us live with more. And TJ, this post was really a public plea. It is because when you think back just in the past three weeks, Kanye West has announced he's running for president, says he wants his administration to look like Wakanda, had a campaign rally in which he wore a bulletproof vest, broke down crying, said Harriet Tubman never fully freed slaves, and this week referred to his wife and his mother-in-law as white supremacists. Well, this in the past, a lot of people might dismiss as Kanye being eccentric, but no, his wife is now saying her husband is sick. A request for compassion and empathy from Kanye West's wife, Kim Kardashian West, the reality star breaking her silence on her husband's recent erratic behavior, addressing concerns about his mental health on Instagram, writing, as many of you know, Kanye has bipolar disorder. Anyone who has this or has a loved one in their life who does knows how incredibly complicated and painful it is to understand. The mother of four's statement coming after a series of troubling incidents involving the Grammy Award winning rapper who in a since deleted tweet wrote, Kim was trying to fly to Wyoming with the doctor to lock me up like on the movie Get Out because I cried about saving my daughter's life. In another now deleted tweet, West claiming that he was trying to get divorced from wife Kim. The Keeping Up with the Kardashian star writing, those who are close with Kanye know his heart and understand his words sometimes do not align with his intentions, calling him a, quote, brilliant but complicated person who, on top of the pressure of being an artist and a black man, has to deal with the pressure and isolation that is heightened by his bipolar disorder. In her statement, Kim speaking to the challenges families face when a loved one who's an adult has a serious mental illness. Those that understand mental illness or even compulsive behavior know that the family is powerless unless the member is a minor. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, an estimated 7 million adults in the U.S. are diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Doctors warn if they stop responding to their medicine or go off it, they can face serious consequences. People can get a resurgence of symptoms and that can start to look like mood swings, difficulty sleeping. When they're experiencing hypomanic or manic episodes, they may feel on top of the world, energetic, even irritable. And in its most extreme forms, it can lead to paranoia, suicidal feelings, even hallucinations or delusions. West himself has opened up about his condition in an interview last year with David Letterman. When you're in this state, you're hyper paranoid about everything. Everyone now is an actor. Everything is a conspiracy. You see everything. You feel the government is putting chips in your head. You feel you're being recorded. You feel all of these things. Doctors say if your loved one's symptoms of bipolar disorder worsen, you may need to intervene. In the instances where they may be a danger to themselves or danger to others or unable to physically care for themselves, it's appropriate to intervene. Now, sources now telling People Magazine that Kanye West did, in fact, see a doctor on Monday and stray that doctor determined he was not in need of any immediate hospitalization. Well, that's some good news there, TJ. Thank you so much for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.